What's going on, everybody? Dogman Dan here in Warframe. We are on the Baylor Formorian. Nobody liked my formation. I mean, what was wrong with me saying formation? It was a nice little troll. I thought it worked out well. Anyway, this is a quick run. Here's what we're doing. I've already done this one. I'm taking the guys with me that needed to run it, so I'm not going to be doing too much damage here. Basically, you're going to get in. Now, I forgot to tell you, the Omega Isotopes are on the planet where the Baylor Formorians are best way to run them is on defense missions or survival missions so far from what I've seen probably interceptions as well um, you get four of those you create your key you all come in here you're going straight for the ship we're gonna take out the shields on the outside then we're gonna go inside take out the core and then you're gonna get the hell out you got 30 seconds to get out this is a distance meter basically to get out uh, so let's go ahead we're gonna first take out the shield core Now what's really nice here is this actually, I've been ranking up my stuff uh, a lot, and uh, I've actually been doing a couple archwing interceptions in between as well, trying to get the, uh, uh, what is that, the Translucian or whatever, I can't remember the name of the other uh, resource, so that way we can create that, that other uh, archwing in the uh, clan tech, but so I take out the zeppelin, get, my sh get the uh, shield unlocked so we can go back to the other side. All right, we're going to move over to the other side. It's fairly quick. You can get in and out in these pretty quickly. Uh, as they get higher up, you know, later on in the, the game, it may not be so uh, easy. But I do highly suggest you get in. You do your, your one run. Um, if you can be get points over a million, you'll get an extra, it looks like 50,000 credits right now on this particular Earth mission that we're on. Um, and then I would say go back in, do some defenses, do some interceptions, do some uh, survivals regular on the regular planets. Not arch wings, but on the regular planets, get yourselves more Omega Isotopes. So that way you are ready with them uh, down the road. You can craft a few of these and have them, the, the keys ready to go uh, in future runs. So the sooner you get them done now, while they're on the lower planets, the more isotopes you have, the easier it's going to be for you to... Uh, not have to worry about it when it's say let's let's say it hits Pluto and suddenly it's uh, all hell breaking loose. So here we are in here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to de deploy this and I'm gonna show you what happens when not the whole team the whole team is not here. So I go to deploy this disruptor. It says not all teammates are in range. So we wait till they're in range. That happens. DK took care of that. All right, and then we're just gonna take out the cores as many of them as we can. I got a little lag going on right now. I'm not the uh, I'm not the host, so I'm a little laggy. But basically, we're just in here doing what we're doing, taking everything out. And uh, once she says we're good, and we've destroyed it, um, nodes destroyed six of sixteen. So you can see you're just destroying all the nodes. Okay, time's up. We got it. Now we just need to get the hell out of here. So get yourself out and get the whole team out. There is a distance meter, basically, like I said, as you can see on the screen up top. Once you reach a distance, you are good to go. Basically, get the hell out of there if you can. And that's it. Simple and easy. Now, I didn't really do any damage here, and right now, for some reason, my gun's not doing any damage. It's not hitting the targets. But um, if you have any questions or comments, like I said, please do feel free to leave them below. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, as always. We'll see you soon. Thanks to the guys in the clan for the uh, assistance in this. All right, next episode. See you later.